And the prophet said, Make known to me what sort of appearance he has, and I will inform the race of, race of men, lest they believe in him. And he said to me, The appearance of his face is that of a wild man. His right eye is like a star rising at dawn, and the other is unmoving. His mouth is one cubit. His teeth are a span long. His fingers like scythes. The soles of his feet two span. And on his forehead is an inscription, Antichrist. And he was exalted up to heaven, and he will descend as far as Hades. One time he will be a child, another an old man. And the prophet said, Lord, how do you permit the race of men to stray? And God said, Hear, my prophet, he becomes a child and an old man, and let no one believe him that he is my beloved son. And after these things a trumpet, the graves will be opened, and the dead will rise up uncorrupted. Then the opponent, having heard the terrible threat, will hide himself in outer darkness. Then the heaven and the earth and the sea will perish. Then I will burn the heaven for eighty cubits, and the earth for eight hundred cubits. And the prophet said, And in what did the heaven sin? And God said, Since is the evil. And the prophet said, Lord, in what did the earth sin? And God said, Since the opponent, having heard my terrible threat, will hide in it, and because of that I shall melt the earth, and with it the rebel of the race of men. And the prophet said, Pity, O Lord, the race of Christians. And I, and I saw a woman suspended, and four wild beasts were sucking upon her breasts. And the angel said to me, She begrudged giving her milk, but also cast infants into the rivers. And I saw terrible darkness and night without stars or moon. There is there neither young nor old, neither brother with brother, nor mother with child, nor wife with husband. And I wept and said, O Lord, Lord, have mercy upon the sinners. And as I said these things, a cloud came and seized me and took me up again into the heavens. And I saw many judgments, and I wept bitterly, and I said, it were better if a man had not come forth from his mother's belly. Those who were in punishment called out, saying, Since you came here, Holy One of God, we have obtained a slight respite. And the prophet said, Blessed are they who bewail their own sins. And God said, Hear, Ezra, beloved one, just as a farmer casts down the seed of corn into the earth, so a man cast down his seed into a woman's place. In the first month it is a hole, in the second it is swollen, in the third it grows hair, in the fourth it grows nails, in the fifth it becomes milky, in the sixth it is ready and quickened, in the seventh it is prepared, in the eighth, in the ninth the bars of the gateway of the woman are opened, and it is born healthy on the earth. And the prophet said, It were better for man not to have been born. Alas, O human race! at that time when you come to judgment. And I said to the Lord, Lord, why did you create man and give him over to judgment? And God said in his exalted pronouncement, I will not pardon those who transgress my covenant. And the prophet said, Lord, where is your goodness? And God said, I have prepared everything because of man, and man does not keep my commandments. And the prophet said, Lord, reveal to me the punishments in paradise. And the angels led me away to the east, and I saw the tree of life, and I saw there Enoch, and Elijah, and Moses, and Peter, and Paul, and Luke, and Matthew, and all the righteous, and the patriarchs. And I saw there the punishment of the air, and the blowing of the winds, and the storehouses of the ice, and the eternal punishments. And I saw there a man hanging by his skull, and they said to me, This one transferred boundaries. And there I saw great judgments, and said to the Lord, O oh Lord, Lord, which of men, having been born, did not sin? And they led me farther down in Tartarus, and I saw all the sinners lamenting and weeping in evil mourning, and I too wept, seeing the race of men punished thus. And then God said to me, Ezra, do you know the names of the angels who were over the consummation? Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Raphael, Gabuthelian, Akur, Arfugitonos, Beburos, Zebulion. Then a voice came to me, Come here, 
die, Ezra, my beloved. Give back that which has been entrusted to you. And the prophet said, And whence can you bring forth my soul? And the angel said, We can cast it forth through your mouth. And the prophet said, I spoke mouth to mouth with God, and it will not go forth from there. And the angel said, We will bring it forth through your nostrils. And the prophet said, My nostrils smell the glory of God. And the angel said, We can bring it forth through your eyes. And the prophet said, My eyes have seen the back of God. And the angel said, We can bring it forth through your head. And the angel said, We can bring it forth through your feet. And the prophet said, I walked with Moses on the mountain, and it will not come forth from there. And the angel said, We can rest it forth through the tips of your toenails. And the prophet said, My feet walked in the sanctuary. And the angels departed unsuccessful, saying, Lord, we cannot receive his soul. And then he said to his only begotten son, Go down, my beloved son, with the numerous host of angels, taking the soul of my beloved Ezra. For the Lord, having taken a numerous army of many angels, said to the prophet, Give me that deposit which I entrusted to you. The crown is ready for you. And the prophet said, Lord, if you take my soul from me, who will you have left to plead on behalf of the race of men? And God said, You who are mortal and earthly, do not plead the case with me. And the prophet said, I shall never cease pleading. And God said, Give in the meanwhile that which is entrusted to you. The crown is ready for you. Come here, die, so that you may attain it. Then the prophet began to speak with tears. O oh Lord, what profits it that I plead the case with you, and I am going to fall to the earth? Woe, woe, for I will be consumed by worms. Bewail me, all holy and pious ones. I plead greatly and am delivered over to death. Bewail me, all holy and just ones, because I have entered the bowl of Hades. And God said to him, Hear, Ezra, my beloved one, I, being immortal, received a cross. I tasted vinegar and gall. I was set down in a grave, and I raised up my elect ones, and I summoned up Adam from Hades, so that the race of men... Therefore do not fear death, for that which is born from me, that is the soul, departs for heaven. That which is from the earth, that is the body, departs for the earth from which it was taken. And the prophet said, Woe, woe, what shall I do? How shall I act? I know not. And then the blessed Ezra began to say, O oh, eternal God, creator of the whole creation, who measured out the heavens with a span and contained the earth in his hand, who drives the cherubim, who took the prophet Elijah to the heavens in a fiery chariot, who gives nurture to all flesh, whom all things fear and tremble from the face of your power. Hear me who pleads greatly, and give to all who copy this book and preserve it, and recall my name, and preserve my memory fully. Give them blessing from heaven, and bless all of his things, just as the end of Joseph. And remember not his previous sins on the day of his judgment. Those who do not believe this book will be burned like Sodom and Gomorrah. And a voice came to him, saying, Ezra, my beloved, I shall grant each one of the things you asked. And at once he gave over his precious soul with much honor on the 18th of the month of October, and they buried him with incense and psalms. His precious and holy body provides unceasingly strengthening of souls and bodies for those who approach him willingly. Glory, might, honor, and worship to him for whom it is fitting, for the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now, and always, and forever, and ever.